ain't the same for young Jermaine Still underrated but far from underpaid And though some problems did fade the hunger stayed These stomach rumbles could humble thunder uh, I'm still fueled by the ones that slumber To stand out amongst the one hit wonders So when the dust settles and the sun is under the horizon Y'all should run the numbers uh, Who the f*** won't what with me? Heart is out and I say that reluctantly Cause it should go without saying But y'all playing dumb Far as these rappers go I'm not fearing none Cold flow is cold in any genre with many combinations Shoot like that boy sponsor What's happening guys? Welcome to a brand new YouTube video Instead of a vlog today, I'm going to be doing a topic and This conversation kind of came about uh, when I hit my 785 pound PR uh, last week So, uh, I got Jamal here Jamal is one of the greatest deadlifters so of all time um, And he is... Enhanced Enhanced And I am not contrary to popular belief. So uh, what I wanted to do was kind of like, ask Jamal some questions, just so you guys could kind of get an understanding of like the differences between someone that's enhanced versus someone that's natural versus myself. I know like a lot of people don't think I'm natty, but let's just go ahead and get this conversation going. So um, one of the things I wanted to like ask someone is like I've asked a couple people this, but like what does it feel like to be like on cycle and like kind of like take a step? You know, like uh, Captain America. Yeah. Okay, like you feel like a super soldier like yeah when you're on cycle you feel like you can do whatever you feel like you're on the top of the world yeah you can hit whatever weights because it's not gonna really affect you because i mean your recovery is through the roof like we a lot of things are similar in the way like most most people train from enhanced to natty uh it's the same but like you can't get come in the gym and pr session after session after session i mean you can we have the momentum yeah but like when you're like enhanced like when yeah. i'm like like when i'm in prep prep like, you can't tell me shit. Like, yeah. I'm, so, so I, I, I posed that question because last week I hit 785 on, on deadlift, right? That was like an all-time PR. Um, and uh, he's looking at me. He's like, bro, like you go for 800 right now. I'm like, I don't think you understand. The way my body feels right now, there's no way I'm loading back up 800 pounds and then hitting that. So, like, do you think that, like, um, kind of like the way that you approach lifting and, like, with the, with the enhancement, like, do you think that... When you hit big weights, do you feel like you can go again immediately almost? Or? No, 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 not necessarily. So my thing is for me, like I tell everyone, it's more a momentum thing, right? Yeah. Like that day you were feeling, you were on, right? Yeah. So you weren't missing for anything. Grip was good. Yeah. Technique was good. So I'm like, why not try to take that win for the day? Okay, I got you. There's not much difference when it comes to enhancing Natty in that, in that uh, manner. Yeah. Yeah, you may, you may feel it like later after that night, like yeah. the next night. You may be tired as fuck, but if you would have tried it, it would have been a grind, but I think you would have had it. But yeah. it, it just taking a win for the day, and it was the end of the block, so I'm like, why not? Yeah. Okay, so then how's, I know you, you touched on recovery very briefly, like how quickly does it, so for example, Monday had a very, I had a very amazing workout. I was like, that shit was lit. Uh, and like literally, I'm still kind of recovering from that session. Yeah. So like, how does recovery play a role whenever you start taking, or you start, you know? Uh, when I'm in prep, I can, I can go like hard, like every day of the week and I'd be fine. Really? But. I'm still one of those guys since I came from the Natty route from USAPL to Untested. I still have that same thought process that I am Natty because, yeah, you may feel like you can do more, but sometimes you shouldn't. Yeah. And that's why a lot of like enhanced guys get hurt. Like they tear a peg, they pull like muscles out the muscles, and they're wondering why they can't stay healthy because you're just, you feel good doesn't mean you all should always go for more. There would be like, for example, right, the last couple of weeks, I've hit like big lifts back to back to back to back. My body is starting to feel it. Like today's session, full context, like I, my body literally rejected today's session. Like it was like, nah, yeah. bro, you're tired. So like, <laughs> that's like, I'm, I'm fatigued, I'm tired, I don't wanna do this. That's how my body felt yesterday as well. I came on bench, literally it felt like every ounce or every cell in my body was rejecting the workout. And I was like, I definitely need to recover. And I'm in a recovery block anyways. But for someone that's enhanced, like you don't really feel like that, but you have to be no, so aware, right? So you don't tear anything? Yeah, so for me right now, I'm not on cycle right now. I'm just on TRT, uh -huh. which is just maintaining my levels, just uh -huh. keeping like a, a natural state. So yeah. I feel fatigued just like you felt fatigued. Like yeah, Monday, yeah. I barely got through a squat workout. Like yeah, I, that's yeah. how bad my body was hurting. Yeah. I didn't want to be here. But I, the difference between on cycle and like off cycle is like, yes, I still have to take stuff, but it's not to the degree that most people think. Like for me, minimum dose necessary. I don't have to you go crazy. I'm, you I'm not to, going crazy. You're not blasting. Nah. Yeah, yeah. And like even when I'm on cycle, like I'm not like blasting hella drugs. Like yeah. But the difference is like when I'm on cycle, like 
I feel good all the time, no matter what. I can go three hours of sleep and I still feel amazing. You know, it's like the, so like, but when I'm off cycle, then I feel fatigued just like you feel fatigued. Yeah. So. Yeah. So like when you come into a session, right? Okay. So like I'm okay. Let me let me see how I want to explain this. Well, let me say this. So. Okay. Over the years of being enhanced, I've been enhanced for like I think like three and a half three and years. Half, yeah. um, but I don't I don't run, I don't do that mean cycle. I maybe do two cycles a year, mm. which is just really harsh and that's just for me crap. Mm. But for the majority, majority of the time, I'm just like just cruising. Yeah. And during my cruise phase, I still try to push intensity. Like I've trained my body to do certain numbers, right? Mm. So regardless of what I always want to say above those numbers, like yay. Like, like when I'm enhanced, when I, when I, I still train the same to a certain degree. Yeah. But when I'm like the recovery aspect and like how I'm feeling is different when I'm on cycle. Yeah. But off season wise, I'm still pushing. I'm still trying to hit certain numbers, uh -huh. just so I can keep my, I guess, my your baseline, base, yeah, my baseline, baseline high. Because yeah. a lot of people they'll they'll get off cycle and they get weak as shit. Yeah. Like yeah. for me, I won't get weak as shit because I I'm, I train. On cycle, like I do off cycle. It's yeah. just a recovery aspect. Got you. So basically what you're saying is that you're not like, what you display in the gym is almost like a pulled back version of what you could have been doing, but it's just like, you understand like you can't, I, I equate it to like flying too close to the sun. You want to get as close to the sun as you possibly can yeah. without burning. Exactly. So it's like, you could probably push like a little bit harder, but you know like, bro, I'm, I'm flirting with like true injury if I get too close. Exactly. Got you. Like today, like I hit a top set, I hit my, my baseline number is like usually 900 pounds. Like I always try to hit 900 yeah. pounds on Delton. You know, I back it off. I may do maybe one or two heavy back off. But some days I'll, I'll do like one set and call it for the workout. Mm. Or I'll do, because sometimes I'll, I'll be feeling too good. Like I don't want to do too much. Yeah. Then I fucking actually hurt myself. Yeah. So some days I'll take it super light, which I did today was it's like 595 isn't really, it's just lightweight. Yeah, it's lightweight. But I still have to put that work in to get my body used to doing some type of volume. Because yeah. without volume, I can't progress. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. It's so crazy because, like, people, okay, so, like, on social media, obviously, you're only going to see my highlights. Like, you're going to see, like, my big lifts, all that type of shit. But you're not going to see the days where everything is just kind of cruising because I'm just trying to maintain. So it's like, for you, like, okay, when I, for example, right, the last two weeks I came into the gym, I'm like, oh, I feel like I could do some stupid shit today on the, like, on the platform. But for you, like when you're on, it feels like that's every day, right? To a certain extent, or? To a certain, I mean, for me, my ba like, since my baseline is super high. Yeah. 900 pounds is kind of normal to my body. Like my wow. body's able to handle that, whether I'm blasting or just cruising. Yeah. But it's like, like today, like you said, like you didn't feel like doing too much, so you kind of listen to your body. Like, I am very in tune with my body, just like you are. Like when I, yeah. when I feel off, I'm calling. Yeah, you're calling it. There's yeah. no point in pushing your 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 boundaries when you got to yeah like I, my since i have the intensity of my my top set everything else is just be technique work i don't really have to blast like a like a heavy like back off set like i, I don't really need it yeah. like, i already got to you know the stimulus from that top set so okay. okay now that i think about it i think i have the perfect analogy and i'm gonna ask you to see if like this makes sense so there's an anime called my hero academia i think people are kind of already know what i'm going with this but you have this superhero, right? His name is All Might. Yeah. And then, like, do you know? Nah, okay, okay. Okay. So then you have the superhero, and he passes his power on to this, like, little kid whose body is, like, frail and shit like that. He passes his superpower on to this kid. And his superpower is, like, strength and shit like that. Got this you. kid's body wasn't prepared for that level of power and strength. And what would happen is that, like, he would use some of the power, and it would tear his body apart. So like basically he had to build his body up to maintain that type of strength. So is that kind of like what taking steroids is and training is yeah, for it, you? Yeah, it's that same thing. I mean, yeah. me, I, we both play football. We both, yeah. both worked out when we were like 12, 13, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I've been working out for years. So I didn't really hop on until, what about 23 or 24? Yeah. One of those ages, but it's, I had been training for a long time mm -hmm. before I did anything. So my body was used to my like working out hard and actually getting on stuff. Yeah. A lot of people just don't ever really work out don't really have no basis of training, and they hop on stuff, thinking they're just gonna get mad and strong, but your body's not even have no, you don't have no basis. Yeah. Like you never really train before, you never even push your natural limits to even be on something. Like, like I, I mean, I could've stayed natty, but like, yeah. I kinda got pushed out of the USAPL, so like, I mean, why not? Like, and plus I was competing untested. I knew, me at my natural state, if I was always almost at the top, just imagine I get 1% stronger by being enhanced, whatever it take me. So, I mean, it was a business decision, like, and it paid off. Oh, I have a question. Like, does your, 
Does your body tell you when it's okay? So like when you're on, when you're on, right? Um, do you feel like your joints, and ligaments, like kind of tearing apart if you go too far? So for me, uh, since I have a degree in all this stuff, right? Yeah. I'm kind of educated on, on like most of the stuff. Like, yeah. I'm never one to just abuse something to put stuff yeah. in my body. Or even, or even like some of the maybe like less educated people that are on. Like, so a lot of powerlifters like in the USA or the USPA, right? They get injured, yeah. right? Do you think it's because like the the stuff that they're taking, they can't even tell like when their body's breaking apart because they always feel so good, or is it like? They're just like push, push, push. I could do more. It's, it's just listen to other people who don't really have no education on that aspect. Okay. Like for me, I went to a bodybuilding coach when yeah. I first saw my cycle. So it's like he was real. Like I, I did my research. Like he was real yeah. versed in everything, like how compounds kind of put in your body. Like we had check-ins weekly. We listened yeah. to the body weekly. And a lot of people just kind of oh take this, this, and that. You know, like just push this drugs and you'll get stronger. But not that's not yeah. really the case. Like minimum dose necessary. You don't really need that much to feel yeah. good. Like yeah. me on TRT. I feel more, I feel better on TRT than I do like on a full cycle. Mm. So, you feel like shit sometimes though? I've heard some people like, the side effects are like pretty intense. Um, but I've heard like the side effects would be pretty intense when it comes. It depends on what compounds it is. Cause I mean okay. like, like trend, that's really, it's one of the harsher ones. I've never, I took trend like once, but I never really like used, like I, I got really bad side effects. I mean, my coach, like, we, we communicate, like, we like, hey, this isn't working and, out for me. Like, and, and it's like, he's like, okay, like, I'm seeing really bad side effects, right. so let's cut that out. Okay, I got you. Damn. So, like, okay, how much do you think that you've gotten out of using steroids? Because you are you were pretty good deadlifter before. I deadlifted I mean, like, 900 pounds, natty. Like, yeah. So I was like, now it's 22, 23. So, Completely natty? Yeah. Like, no compounds, like, before that? I just, I, like once that? I learned how to use a deadlift bar, oh, it, it okay, was out. Okay. But Shit. even then, it's like, I just train my ass off. So like, I've yeah. always been a hard worker. So it's like, same thing. I don't really need much to get off on Yeah, cause I feel like the, all the people that we watch, like like the the big like bodybuilders and shit, they're actually not on a lot of stuff. Yeah. It's that they have the genetics and like the work ethic to kind of like, take them exactly. to the next level. And when you add like a little bit of sprinkle of like super soldier serum, it kind of like adds to that. Yeah. So I was just curious like, I mean, I've never really been curious about steroids, but I feel like, like with me being in fitness and stuff like that, it's kind of like I'm like, it's always hey, I'm like, there. It's always yeah. there. Like Russ, if Russ was on steroids, it'd be an IFBB pro like type shit. Like he would look yeah. ridiculous. Like yeah. it'd be crazy. So what's the biggest difference that you've noticed personally from taking, from being natty, and then um, when you jump on? Like, what's the biggest difference? Um, recovery, um, how food is utilized in the body, um, like. Like everything, like when I'm on like cycle, I control everything. Just same thing for you, like you control your diet, your sleep, how you train in, the numbers, everything. Like everything is scientific experiment. It's like you don't want to do something and you don't know how it's really affecting you. Like I, yeah. like when I'm like on cycle, I'm tracking everything because my health is at risk. And especially as a black man, yeah. we're more prone for heart disease. And I don't want to shorten my life by doing what I'm doing now. Like mm -hmm. yeah, it's. I get paid from it, but it's still like you gotta be yeah. like smart about it. Gotcha. So you would say well, the biggest thing like you could take away from, or not the biggest thing you take away, but the biggest thing that happens whenever you start um, a cycle is like recovery. Recovery. And then, um, do you feel like you get a lot more bang for your buck? Like, so your training sessions, like, it just, I mean, well, obviously that's what steroids are. Like, you get a lot of bang for your bucks. So you come inside a session and like you can see like progress a lot faster, right? Obviously. To a certain degree, I mean, you still, yeah. like I said, you still have to work hard. Yeah, I you mean, still have to work hard, obviously. And like, it's just building like the stimulus. A lot of stuff is mental. So it's like, for me, steroids give me, I guess, a mental edge because I'm a naturally calm lifter. Mm. Um, like, my aggression is really subtle. Yeah, so I don't like, see you get like, I don't see you like it's more rage internal. out or anything. Like it's that. more internal. Gotcha. So it's like, it's one of those things where I can like, I can get more, I get more like amped to lift, you know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, gotcha. Like you won't see it, but like for me, like I, I feel good. Like yeah. I feel like hype. Wait, when you come into the gym, how do you feel? Like do you just feel fucking ready? Like? I just, my mental like sharpness is like. Sharpness, you're like I'm, focused I'm, on the I'm session? Focus, yeah. I got you, cause there's some sessions, obviously like there's some sessions I come in, I'm like, man shit, I'm just trying to do what I'm supposed to do today and get, get the fuck, fuck out. Yeah. Do you ever feel like that when, like, when you're on? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes? Some days, okay. some days like my body is beat where like, okay. I didn't eat, eat enough and my body utilized all the energy that I needed to get like recovery. Uh, okay, okay. So like you still gotta eat well, you still gotta sleep well. Yeah. And you, like there's days you still can feel like shit, but you like you gotta control all the variables. Okay, that's personally all the questions I had. Um, I think the biggest thing is like, like I said, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a natural lifter. I know like a lot of people are like, no, he's fucking not. But um, I've always wondered 
like now that I've gone to that in the fitness industry and being surrounded by not, uh, enhanced lifters, it's like I wonder what the difference is because when I'm in here, like there's some sessions where I'm like, this shit is tough as fuck, man. And then just seeing the difference of like the mindset that comes with using and then not using and all that kind of stuff, I was just interested in it. We have someone here that's at the top of their game and at the top of the powerlifting world, so we just wanted to ask him what that's like. But I also wanted to close this video out by saying like, bro, if you're a young lifter, do not <laughs> take steroids. He made that decision because like, number one, he was already at the top level of something else and he wanted to take it to a whole different level. But we were talking off camera, it's like, if your genetics ain't like that, you're risking your health for no reason. Exactly. Um, so I would say just like never, never ever take it unless like there's a route where there's like fame and glory. There's some type of angle. Yeah, yeah some, type some type of angle of to it. Yeah. What really disheartens me that like, there's like a lot of young lifters that are like 16, 17, 18 starting to start to take shit. I'm like, bro, like you're altering your body for no reason. Like you're doing it because your favorite influencer is saying yeah. to do it and like you shouldn't be doing that. Um, but I think that's the biggest thing to say to take away from this video. There's a difference between natty lifting and unnatural lifting and I just wanted to highlight the differences between those things. Okay. Training as an enhanced and natty lifter is somewhat the same. Um, for the most part, yeah. it should be the same. Like The way you the, approach it, it should the way be you the approach same. It. Like, yeah. I guarantee you like, the top 10% of the USAPL is stronger than the top 10% of untested. Because they train better and they're more consistent about their training, yeah. and they stay healthier. Yeah. Um, like, like you said, if you're not going to be an IFBB pro or it's not going to make you number one in your class, whatever, there's no point in taking it. I mean, it's just a, a risk that has no reward. Like, yeah, you may look good, yeah, you may feel good, but what's the end goal? Like, yeah. what, what, what is the monetary value of you doing so other than you losing years in your life and you abusing something that you don't even like really know for real? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. Max. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to have Jamal's stuff plugged inside the description box. So if you guys want to check out his stuff, I mean, he's literally like the best, not even like deadlifter, but just like one of the best powerlifters in the world, uh, period. So TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, all that stuff. I want to thank you guys for tuning into this video. Uh, please drop a comment and let us know what kind of videos you want to see from us next. So like always, if you guys like today's video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Get better today. I'm out.